Well, welcome back to MPTV. We are here, of course, in the foyer of the House of Commons right now. It is Monday night. It is 24 hours from the time when the throne speech is actually going to be delivered. And, of course, there's so much TV and media stuff going on here because it is tomorrow going to be uh, quite the media circus. Um, this throne speech, as you know, is going to be like none other for quite some period of time, years, in fact because we haven't seen a throne speech that ratcheted up to have these kind of odds ever before, in my view. And right now, of course, the Prime Minister has said that, you know what, you have to, uh, you have to approve of basically what we're doing, or you get an election. So we've got a confidence element about this throne speech that we really haven't seen before. Now, I've been here in meetings uh, today, talking with a lot of my colleagues, because, of course, the Liberal Party has to decide whether they are going to pull the plug on Mr. Harper, on his government, on this throne speech, if the provisions of the throne speech are not acceptable to Canadians. And, of course, if we do pull the plug on the throne speech, um, we get an election. And that, of course, triggers a lot. But there's more. The Prime Minister has also said, oh, by the way, um, these are cabinet minister's cars here. Um, Bruce, get a shot. Um, there is a cabinet meeting going on right now because up on the third floor, um, one, two, three up there, you can see that row of windows. That is the cabinet committee room. And in that room right now, the federal cabinet is meeting, putting the final touches on the throne speech and I think deciding whether or not um, they, in fact, won an election. But I don't think there's any doubt about it. They're going to get that. Now, that interesting sound is a parliamentary cement mixer. So we're going to move out of the way. But I want you to see here, Bruce, can you see in the background, we've got the CTV truck, we've got the CBC installation over here, uh, and we have got a giant media presence. Um, this, of course, is the Cement Network. This is a new specialty pay TV channel. We'll bring you more on that in a future show. Now, the reason the media is so interested in what is going on is because they have swallowed the bait that Mr. Harper is actually wanting an election, I think he probably is too, and that the Liberals are going to say, no, we're not going to do it because we're not ready from a logistical point of view. I can't tell you if that's the case or not. That's a secret. Whether we're going to be ready or not, whether we want an election or not, but I can tell you this, there is only one thing that matters to me, and that is, is the throne speech good for Canada? If it's good for Canada, we'll support it. If it's not good for Canada, we won't support it. I don't think it's a whole lot more complicated than that. And secondly, Canadians in the last election gave Mr. Harper a minority government. Not a majority, a minority. And they did that for a reason. And that is they put him on a short leash in order to make sure that he does what Canadians want him to do. And I think that's an important thing for us to remember. Mr. Harper is trying to make Canadians believe that it's his way on all provisions of this throne speech or an election. In other words, he wants to govern as if he has a majority government or else we get an election. What do you think? A media circus here tomorrow, a difficult vote, the first one is Thursday night, then there's a series of others, any one of these could trigger an election. What do you think? And we want to know here at garth.ca what you would have me as a member of parliament and my 307 colleagues do in this parliament. We've got a poll going at garth.ca. You know where it is. Please go to the poll. The cement network is going by. Please go to the poll and let us know the answers to these three questions. If you were voting in my chair in the House of Commons, would you pull the plug in the government? Would you support the government and avoid an election? Would you abstain and fight another day? I want to hear what you have to say because there's only 48 hours now till I'll be rising in my place and making my decision.